I have the great pleasure now of being joined by SNMMI's incoming president, Kathy Sue Cutler. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. So a very big role. Tell me about what you think some of the biggest challenges are. One of the biggest challenges we have is getting reimbursement for diagnostic radiopharmaceuticals. And that really limits patients' access because if hospitals can't get reimbursed, they're obviously not going to provide them. No one wants to do it at a loss. So one of the things we've been working on is something called the FIND Act, which is a, a bill that will ensure that, that hospitals will get reimbursed appropriate for these diagnostic radiopharmaceuticals. And these are really important because they basically are tools that the physician uses to really understand that patient and what their treatment is. So it's really important that all patients have access to these important tools. How can members help? And do you have a plan to try to overcome some of those challenges? You mentioned the act, but how do people get involved? So right now, it's, I'm glad you asked that. There's a QR code here, and we actually have a template later which members can use and write their congressmen and tell them why they should support the FIND Act and why they think this is so important for them to do this. And we really need all of our members to do that because um, these are coming up in Congress. And right now is just the best time to let them know that we are so desperately in need of this bill getting passed. And it's a perfect time to let members know when everyone is together here. But beyond the meeting, what else is on your agenda for the year? We're at this point where we're really growing. You know, everyone's interested in radio pharmaceuticals. Big Pharma is interested in radio pharmaceuticals. All these startup companies are interested. But we have a challenge with the workforce. So we have challenges with having enough technologists. We're expecting that we could see a shortfall of two to 4,000 and technologists, physicians. We need more people entering the field. And I'm a scientist, and uh, we really need scientists, uh, desperately. Radio pharmacists, people to do to the dosimetry. So a big thing we're working towards is trying to attract really good people to come into this field and support this growth and ensure quality care for our patients. And for that, you need recruiters. We need recruiters, yes. And in what way can they be of best help to you? So one, like yesterday, we went out to Jarvis High School, which is one of the biggest high schools in Toronto, and informed them about the field. And this is something they usually don't hear about. They don't know about this field until way late. And they were so engaged. So this is what we need to do. We have the job series coming out. Uh, we released the first one that brings people together and tells them about the field, um, which you can get on the internet and see those podcasts. And uh, they inform you what it's like to work in nuclear medicine so that we can try to use those to attract people into the field. It is such an exciting field. I wish you the best of luck and great success in your term as president. Thank you very much.